Steger is best known for his legendary polar explorations, but he has also been a lifelong educator. It was Will's early observations of the natural world and his curiosity about weather and climate that eventually enabled him to explore and survive in the Arctic, as well as be an eyewitness to the impacts of climate change. I've seen a lot of this. I've, I've traveled you know, 40 years of my life in the Arctic, and the last 15 years I've, I've seen so many changes. Will Steger's compelling life story of adventure has motivated thousands of Minnesotans to care about our state and has generated real concern over the threat of climate change to our economy, natural resources, and way of life. Today, Will is inspiring, educating, and empowering people around the world to take action on climate change solutions. As a child, um, I always loved Minnesota. I was always very proud of our state. I always had this innate uh, interest in Minnesota. And, uh, and then also as a teacher, uh, the ability to teach my local environment was extremely important. When I was young, I observed and documented, and, and believe it or not, what I documented, this is all changing. And I was very fortunate to have documented that. You know, I've, I've been an eyewitness to the, the changing climate, and I had no idea 20 years ago that I would be an eyewitness. When I was a young child, I wanted to be able to predict the weather, to look at the clouds in the barometer and say, this is what's going to happen. And knowing the weather um, has been extremely important for me in my expeditions. I mean, I wouldn't be living today if I didn't understand barometer and wind and the basics, because in expeditions you're making critical, a lot of times day-to-day, judgments um, on whether graphs and barometers and that are very important because it shows you the trend rather than just a spot analysis. The immediate weather is our you know, day to day, I think is a baseline of understanding the climate. I think the eyewitness uh, count has, is real important in education. I feel that as students, students should all be eyewitness. There is uh, first, the first experience of just exploring, but then picking up the leaf or bug, and then zeroing your attention on that. That's, that's crucial, uh, to observe and watch, and watch your curiosity. And to take that a step further, uh, like I did, was to, to journal, to, to sketch or to write. Or in modern age, kids can take a photograph. And then take that a step further to share that with their peers. And uh, this is what our project uh, is really about. It is, it's about the observation, but making that connection and making that connection of the one-to-one -one observation and documenting in whatever way. Uh, but then with the gift of the internet, the ability of maybe uh, a young kid in, in northern Minnesota here sharing what he's seeing to a, a young kid that lives in the prairies in the southwest. And um, in Minnesota, since we have you know, major biomes here, we're really fortunate as a state. So you really have to first, I think, uh, have this connection with nature is, is extremely important. Uh, that really forms a heart bond, uh, concern, a, a need to protect, uh, and that is what uh, stewardship is about. I mean, the forest, look around here, this is just absolutely beautiful. And people in Minnesota understand what, what this is and, and why this is part of our, our heritage. But this is uh, basically at risk, and it doesn't have to be at risk. And uh, it's very important, first of all, to know what's going on. Climate change is, is a major issue for Minnesota, especially when we're used to pristine water, pine trees and the bounty waters. When this starts changing, uh, it changes our way of life, basically. I mean, all the way from hunters and people that fish and all of our recreation uh, is potentially at stake here. So. Uh, and, and what we need now is, is uh, awareness of the problem. I mean, just to look at this realistically and, and then move on to the solutions. Join us on an exploration of Minnesota's changing climate and be an eyewitness to the changes in your biome.